The universe is almost 14 billion years old. It's vast, complex, and has many mysteries hidden within it. We perceive everything in it in a three-dimensional grid. Everything that we see has length, breadth, and depth. But for many decades, scientists have also been wondering if the universe is in fact a huge two-dimensional hologram, giving the illusion of being three-dimensional. Just like a two-dimensional hologram on a credit card that appears three-dimensional from a certain angle. And now an international team of scientists from the UK, Canada and Italy say that they have discovered mathematical and scientific evidence that the universe is in reality two-dimensional. The early universe, a long time ago, uh, was quite different. Okay? It was much smaller, much more energetic, and the laws of physics uh, were also a bit different than today. It might very well be that it was a very complicated uh, situation to describe in terms of this 3D world. And uh, recently, people have been thinking that it might be more easy to describe it in terms of a 2D world. But the two dimensions in this 2D world are space and time. And everything in between is known as space-time. This is something of what in physics we call a duality, meaning that there are two different ways uh, to describe uh, the same thing. For example, light. Okay? So if you, want, if you look at a CD, then you'll see kind of a rainbow image appearing, which is due to the physical phenomenon of diffraction, which is very easily explained in terms of waves. However, if you want to explain how a solar cell works, you use the so-called photoelectric effect, which is most easily explained in thinking of a wave, uh, light as a particle. The same physics can often be described in two different ways, and this holographic principle is, uh, is exactly like that. Many scientists say the two-dimensional holographic principle of the universe can help them understand many of the laws of physics, ones they have been unable to explain within three dimensions. Saurav Roy, TRT World.